Acts of the Apostles, beginning in chapter 9 from the LSV. And Saul, yet breathing of threatening and slaughter to the disciples of the Lord, having gone to the chief priest, asked from him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he might find any of the way, both men and women, he may bring them bound to Jerusalem. And in the going, he came near to Damascus. And suddenly there shone around him a light from heaven. And having fallen on the earth, he heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you persecute. Hard for you to kick at the goads. Trembling also and astonished, he said, Lord, what, what, what do you wish me to do? And the Lord said to him, Arise and enter into the city, and it will be told to you what you must do. And the men who were journeying with him stood speechless, indeed, hearing the voice, but seeing no one. And Saul arose from the earth, and his eyes having been opened, he beheld one, no one. And leading him by the hand, they brought him to Damascus. And he was there three days without seeing, and he neither ate nor drank. And there was a certain disciple in Damascus by the name of Ananias. And then the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he said, Behold, behold me, Lord. And the Lord says to him, Having risen, go on to the street that is called Straight, and seek the house of Judas, one by name Saul of Tarsus, for behold, he prays. And he saw in a vision a man by the name of Ananias coming in and putting a hand on him that he may see again. And Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man. How many evils he did to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all those calling on your name. And the Lord said to him, Go, because this one is a chosen vessel to me to carry my name before nations and kings. Also the sons of Israel, for I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name. And Ananias went away and entered into the house, and having put on him his hands, said, Saul, brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus, who appeared to you in the way in which you were coming, that you may see again, and may be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately there fell from his eyes, as it were, scales, and he also saw again instantly, and having risen, was immersed, and having received nourishment, was strengthened. And Saul was with the disciples in Damascus certain days, and immediately he was preaching the Christ in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. And all those hearing were amazed and said, is this not he who laid waste in Jerusalem? Those calling on the name, the name. And here, to this intent, had come that he might bring them bound to the chief priests. And Saul was still more strengthened, and he was confounding the Jews dwelling in Damascus, proving that this is the Christ. And when many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel together to kill him. And their counsel against him was known to Saul. And they were also watching the gates both day and night 
that they may kill him. And the disciples, having taken him by night, led him down by the wall, letting down in a basket. And Saul, having come to Jerusalem, tried to join himself to the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, not believing that he is a disciple. And Barnabas, having taken him, brought him to the apostles and declared to them how he saw the Lord in the way, and that he spoke to him, and how in Damascus he was speaking boldly in the name of Jesus. And he was with them, coming in and going out in Jerusalem, and speaking boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus. He was both speaking and disputing with the Hellenists, and they would talk, taking in hand to kill him. And the brothers, having known, brought him down to Caesarea and sent him forth to Tarsus. And then, indeed, the assemblies throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace being built up. And Samaria had peace being built up and going on in the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. They were multiplied. And it came to pass that Peter passing throughout all quarters also came down to the holy ones who were dwelling at Lydia. And he found there a certain man, Aeneas by name, for eight years laid on a pallet, who was a paralytic. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus the Christ heals you. Arise and spread for yourself. And immediately he rose. And all those dwelling at Lydia, Lydia, and Saran saw him and turned to the Lord. And in Joppa, Iapa, there was a certain female disciple by name Tabitha, which interpreted is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and kind acts that she was doing. And it came to pass in those days, she, having ailed, died, and having bathed her, they laid her in an upper chamber. And Lydia, be, being near to Joppa, the disciples, having heard that Peter is in that place, sent two men to him, calling on him not to delay to come through to them. And Peter, having risen, went with them, whom having come, they brought into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping, and showing coats and garments as many as Dorcas was making while she was with them. And Peter, having put them all forth outside, and having bowed the knees, prayed. And having turned to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And having seen Peter, she sat up. And having given her his hand, he lifted her up. And having called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. And it became known throughout all Yapa. And many believed on the Lord. And it came to pass that he remained many days in Yapa with a certain one, Simon, a tanner. Just a note here on the uh, name of Saul and Paul. There has been a rumor for ages upon ages that uh, his name was changed from Saul to Paul. His name was never changed. His name was interchangeable depending on the region he was in. His name was Saul as an Israelite. And it was Paul because he was a Roman citizen but they are the same name, meaning the same thing. 
That's just a little side note. Um, I wish you well all in these dark days. Pray for one another. Love one another. Build yourselves up together. Not in vanity and pride and puffing yourselves up. Arrogance. Sloth. But with genuine affection. This is what the word says to do. It's so rare. Godspeed, brothers and sisters. Godspeed.